well hello there youtube welcome to a 46 degree thursday yeah thursday the 13th of january 2022 it's raining at the moment it's one of those oh my what a difference a day can make look at that kylie where she's been wallowing around them mud holes she loves that stuff anyway other than the sprinkling it feels real good out here Northwest morning. Mama with her little blanket. <laughs> the old war wagon. She don't she don't warm up quite as quick as the Acura does. She does good though. She's a good old gal. Not quite like the yesterday. ride in yesterday. No. But I guess the weekend's supposed to be nice. Mm -hmm. So we're all good about that. Yeah. So, Mama? Yes. We have made it to Thursday. We have. We've got today, tomorrow, and then you have inventory, unfortunately. Yeah. Hobby gets the weekend. Yeah. Mama gets to live literally for two weeks straight at the store. That's payback for all the vacation yeah. and stuff I like guess that. So. All right, Mama. All right. I Papa. guess we should roll on in there and start our day. All right. Sounds good. All right. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye bye. Now. Bye. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Check this out. BMWs everywhere. That's what happened. <laughs> BMW'd out. There's a bulletin on this 750. I didn't know it existed, to be honest with you. Sunset views on the ride home this evening. Nope. Not at all. Nope, it's going to be dark and Yeah, dingy. but even with all the clouds and the rain stuff, look how much twilight you have. Yeah. We're only, what, half an hour past sunset. That's nice. It is. Heading the right direction. Yep. Just don't look like it right now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's roll to the north land. All right. Sounds all right. So I look closely around the rim, there's no debris or anything. The cap, the seal looks fine, but where it does whatever it does could be bad. They don't just end up getting another cap. It looks old, but it still keeps popping the same thing up. And each time I, I don't clear it anymore, I just, but the last couple of times, um, it passes the test, so and then when it passes the test, it's telling me it's most likely the cap or some obstruction allowing the cap to not seal correctly. Sort it out. Imagine the gas cap's probably not that expensive. Life in the big city of automobiles. Hey guys, he's doing some servicing on his truck over there. He got the hood up. Whoa, that was fast. Pump is just going fast. Right. So I'm sitting here getting gas and this Chevy pulls in. I don't know why the guy was looking. I'm like, do I know this old guy? So I don't think nothing of it. And Kelly goes, do you see the guy pull up in that truck? Well, he gets out and he's going around. He's checking all the doors. He goes, wow, that son of a gun was rattling on the way here. He goes, you just got to wait till you find a place to stop and check it out. Yeah. He goes, I hope I, <laughs> hope I found it. And she goes, <laughs> so she just... Going, oh, yeah, yeah, small talk. And he goes, you know what GC stands for? He got Gail and Calvin. Yeah. And he goes, no kidding. And he goes, yeah, this was purchased in the 50s for 500 bucks. Yeah. He goes, I'm Calvin. Yeah. And he's 80 what? He's 83. 83. Yeah. And then uh, I always call him Mr. Winthrop or whatever, yeah. the guy from... Uh, I don't know what that movie is where trading places. No, not trading places. It's um, uh, the thing with Richard Pryor where he has to spend like a fifteen million dollars in a certain oh, amount of time. Oh yeah, Brewster's millions. Brewster's millions. The yeah. old he reminds. Yeah. I don't mean anything <laughs> ill by that, but that's where he reminds. Of, he's got that scowl look on his face. You I know. know it. He always pulls up here and honks, and people bring him food and stuff like yeah. that. 
Well, so we met half of GCs. Yeah. The and he's ninety. The other guy. Uh, Gail, which is the G part of GC. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's ninety three. Yeah, so he's the one we see all the time. Yeah. I had no idea. That's what GCs. Yeah. How he's about that? Tidbits of information. Yeah. yeah. A random thing. And Kelly gets to meet half of the GCs. I know. See, Founders. You just got to be a friendly person. Yeah. And talk Kelly to goes, well, well, my uncle did repairs here for years and years. He goes, oh, yeah, who's that? And then they goes, oh, my Lord. He's been working for us for over 30 years. Yeah. And it's Kelly's uncle. And he's, what a small world. It is. You just never know. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? That's way cool. Anyway. Mama, you let that light come on again. I'm sorry. Look, happens. So I think we just need to get another cap for it. Probably. I'll call one of the auto parts. Actually, call the Honda store. Get a genuine Honda one for yeah. it. It's probably be the smartest thing. You buy them aftermarket ones, you'll be messing that, with that thing forever. Yes, you will. Good today, gone tomorrow. I know. And what are you going to do? <laughs> Save like a buck or two. Yeah. Just get the Honda thing. Yep. Hey, somebody's got themselves it's an exercise bike. It is like crazy hot. <laughs> Let's head home, Mama. All right. Sashi Annie and the other butts are probably looking at their little fur watches going, what's going on? I know it. Where are they? All right. Let's roll. All right. It's crazy. Pitch black dark out here with stars and the moon. It's not even a full moon, but I can see everything out here. I know you can't tell with the camera, but that's pretty cool. I wish the camera would adjust as well as your eyes do out here. But that's amazing how bright that gets all of a sudden. But the camera can only go so far. So I got my trusty little, what do they call it, a stinger? Something like that. With the name on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the stinger switchblade. The cool thing about this is you turn it on, one click, and that's just a normal LED. Let me extend the pole here right quick. This is meant for automotive stuff. So one of the things it's for is paint. So they can see um, colors where they make a mistake. So you double tap it. And the other light comes on. And this is color corrected. And you're talking about something that works great for vlogging? you see the actual color perfect color if i could have fluorescent lights or led lighting that had this it'd be great because everything you see is actual anyway that's great to throw inside the car when you're working on it <laughs> let me grab the little uh, scanner out of the back here so i'm gonna do one click and I'm gonna click through it and it'll it should do the regular LED, then the color corrected LED, and then it has this weird thing for uh, checking for leaks. One click, another click. That's the cool color. Oh. Then it's got whoa. Psychedelic. That is a trip, but it's a blue light for checking for le any leads in here. You put a dye in your, um, oh, I, I think you can even use it for antifree or a uh, freon and stuff like that, or whatever they call it nowadays. But uh, you put dye in your oil and look for where the source of a leak is. Kind of cool, huh? But we're not messing with that right now. Double click. Yeah. Drop that seat like that. Look at that. Got really nice light in here. So neighbors, the neighbors that are behind us, um, they built this huge house across the way, and I think somebody, I don't know if it's relatives or they rent the house or whatever. That it's still theirs, but anyway, some gal screamed at a kid in the backyard, and I thought they were standing at my shop door. It is crazy this time of year. Is, is it the cold? What's the deal? How does time, I mean, uh, sound travel so well? What is the brand of this thing? 
Ansel. I got this thing on Amazon. And it's not as feature rich as some of the other ones, but it's so fast. And it's got the um, trouble code lookup and stuff too. But compared to the other ones, this thing rocks. That's why I keep this one in the car. Entering system, please wait. The typical waiting thing. So right away it tells me, and it's, it's doubling that code for some reason. Manufacturer specific code. Hold on. Where's the hold on? Oh, that's a different one. Oh no, I've got a new code. Catalyst system efficiency below threshold. I know what that is because I got a leak. Um, yeah, that's not good. That's a brand new catalytic converter that's in this thing. But I created an exhaust leak in it. So there's that 1457 and it show I get a double code of the same code. It, it was installed wrong and I had to correct it. And ever since then, there's a little bit of a leak there and you don't notice it until you really floor it. And uh, not that any of the motor mounts are broke, but they're, they're getting weak and it allows the motor to twist enough and you really hammer it and it, you get an exhaust leak. <laughs> But I've never got a code for it before, though. Interesting. But there was the light was already on. I didn't even know it created something new. Anyway, it's the beginning. Yeah, ignition's on. Thank you. Lights out. Thank you. Huh. So that is for that. It's kind of weird. The catalytic converter is kicking that code, though, huh? It doesn't matter which one I whether I use this Ansel or whatever. They all it all says it's doing good. So if it's testing, why doesn't it detect the uh, um, catalytic converter? I mean the uh, a leaky gas cap. Maybe it just does it at, at weird times or something. Weird, huh? This one was... God, that thing wasn't very much at all. I don't know what... Oh, there's a model right there. The AD530. Budget. It's quick. Rough and tough. I just throw it in the tool bag in the back of the automobile. So, uh... Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye on that. Cat, well, I definitely need to... Kelly talks about it every once. I said, well, no, I'll worry about that when it warms up. And I can jack the thing up out here and crawl underneath there and pull that thing apart. The reason I say nice and warmer, because if I don't fix it right away, you can drive the Acura or a motorcycle to work. It ain't hurting nothing. <laughs> it's not like, you, I mean, you would hear it right now if it was really leaking. But if, um, if we're out on the road, you really floor it, it'll get it'll go a little rah, it'll leak a little bit. And uh, you get exhaust leak, and it's where the headers meet that um, at the pipe that the cat's in, and I'm sure that's where it's getting a, a problem. So that's the first time I've seen that, so I have to keep an eye out on that too. Almost ought to throw that thing in the glove box now, huh? <laughs> Not worried about it. All right. So I'm grabbing a. Ah, that thing's cold. Pull it out of the back of the Honda there. I'm just keeping it in there. But I don't have any specific towels to clean the windows. So two different color, fresh, brand new ones. And uh, I'll show you a trick how you can clean the inside of your windows even when it's dark outside. Again, using that cool uh, stream light. So this really helps when you have a um, car that's made out of steel. Instead of aluminum, this wouldn't work on Acura. Everything's aluminum. But see, over time, how you get that smudge inside I know there's no smoking going up recording everything I'm doing in here but uh it just over time you end up with that smudge on the inside and that's been like a pain in the butt here lately driving down the road so uh, we're gonna use that Honda stuff <laughs> <laughs> 
we'll clean it all up. But there you go. I got I can look at any angle and I can see where I've got it and missed it. There you go. The rest of it's just halo stuff and dirt on the inside, but she's absolutely clean. That stuff works so good. Be careful, it comes out as a foam, so kind of be purposeful putting it on your rag on the inside. I'm gonna jump on the other side and finish that. Still see where there's crap. That's almost like a before and after thing. Look at that. The camera's making it look like there's a haze in here. It's not, it's absolutely clean. It's just picking up a glow, probably the crap on the outside. Cool though. So don't forget to do the insides because all of the insides have it. But look who came out here. I had to check on him. Yeah. <laughs> she about scared the heck out of me. Yeah, you jumped and everything. Yeah, I did. She got me good. So I, uh, that's just a reflection of the dash, but I went ahead and did the outside windows too and the sides and she's all good, man. Well, I even did the uh, outsides once again out there because it's rained a couple times. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it for that little adventure. So the little woman says, can we do a goodbye right now? Yes. I go, girl, I don't have no lights, no nothing. It's just whatever the car produces. She yeah, goes, boy. it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be so fine. So here we're going to do a goodbye right from here. Right. <laughs> it's nice and warm in here. Yes, it feels good. Really warm. It's very comfortable. I, I got could just hat. lay down Probably and got take a nap. Hat hair and everything going it's on. It's okay, Mama. you got a robe in my scrunchy coat. That's all right. They see you like that. All the I guess they see me. Yeah. We ain't got nothing to hide no more. No, you know Not what after I look like. over six over six years. Yeah. Yeah, today's twenty two hundred and fifty one days straight. That's crazy. Something's plumb wrong with us. I know it. I think he's a little loopy. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get so that light's not shining but oh. anyway we're gonna bounce on that all righty well thank you guys so much for watching we really do appreciate it we will talk to you tomorrow same smoke time same smoke channel don't forget to give a thumbs up and you guys have an amazing friday or saturday heck yeah all right let's gather up old danny yeah get on inside make sure sounds that, good make sure dogs don't get freaked out because we left I know. <laughs> they were all laid out when I walked out. So. Yeah, they probably didn't know you're gone. Probably not. All right. All right. See you guys in the morning. See you then. Thanks for watching now. Bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.